other ones flooded the hood with the drugs to get us off balance. You dig what I'm saying? So we didn't do it. We didn't know shit about drugs mm-hmm. until these motherfuckers tried to fuck us up mentally, and that's when the drugs came in. You dig what I'm saying? So I can't fault nobody. I can't say, well, uh, I think it's crazy that Lil Wayne talk about cerebral. I think it's crazy. That, no, I can't say it's crazy. These people go through things, and sometimes people think a drug is the answer when they go through things because it makes them feel a certain way. You dig? But I'm not, I'm not promoting it and saying that it is. I'm just saying in life, people, people go through things, and so that's why they talk about that. They sharing their problems with you from an mm-hmm. aspect through music to hope, hope you get to see their pain. But they didn't put the drugs in the community. The drugs came in through the community, through the politicians. But mm-hmm. they just they just had to make a way. So they had to sell it. They had to do it, whatever the case was. And then when you're young, you grow up looking up to your elders and people around you for a way. So your cousin may be snorting dope. You may be around your cousin all the time. You may grow up snorting dope. Because if he ain't teaching you correct, then mm-hmm. you don't know and you just want to do what he's doing. So I can't blame nobody, but not to say that everything is right, but you just got to know you got that's when you got to know yourself. You got to know yourself and your path and where you want to go. Let's just stay on that that agenda lane real quick because we see Ice Cube and this one I wanted to ask you a couple questions back. He's being criticized right now for a quote unquote anti Semitic behavior on social media i call it exposing the illuminati he's going in what do you think i'm gonna say this and a lot of people don't know this too ice cube i remember when ice cube hit me and to get us to squash the nelly and me that the beef back then ice cube used to call me and talk to me about that because of because of what went on with him and nwa Mm -hmm. i love ice cube and that was the most villain shit ever because i'm a fan of ice cube i've always been a fan ice cube is great now, when you think of Ice Cube, you got to go back. America's most wanted and shit. Ice Cube always been on that knowledge of telling you what the fuck is popping out here. But what's yeah. going on? I think Ice Cube has had it up to her like me and everybody else. And he's like, fuck that. Now I got to start. OK, we got to start getting to it. And so um, I think it's great. I have nothing imbalanced and negative imbalance to say about what Ice Cube is doing. He's great. And what he's saying is correct. And I'm standing behind him. In your opinion, or for once you for once you've seen in the industry, how involved or how ingrained is law enforcement in hip hop? How ingrained is law enforcement in hip hop? Well, I'm gonna tell you this: just like the just like Uncle Luke said, I was watching him talk and how he got locked up for hip hop. The police mm-hmm. locked him up for hip hop and wasn't nobody there for him. And um, they always ingrained in hip hop because they trying to catch when you got a bunch of. And it's always folk. I don't be seeing them that ingrained in these rock performing motherfuckers. At all. And I, not not to knock not to knock the rock bands. I like a lot of rock bands. Not to knock them because in actuality, it's two it, it's two of the same mass just from different different aspects. And when I say that, rock bands talk about the same shit dudes from the street talk about just in a different ways. Mm-hmm. You dig? They just doing their music different. But you don't see the police on them like they be on the the young melanated brothers who do music, but they. When you, when you glorifying drugs and guns, you know they looking into it and see. And if you pay attention, in in in, in the community of I ain't gonna say hip hop, hip hop. Mm-hmm. Let's first off, hip hop has to do with consciousness and and togetherness. We mm-hmm. gonna say let's say rap music. Yeah. Okay. Yup. Yeah. Let's say rap music that deals with. Sex, drugs, guns, and when 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 you're dealing with that and glorifying it, the police want to find out what's going on. And you know we all be out from the block, this 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 and that. Like I say, most most of the young guys come from that. Some be faking, but most young some of the young guys come from that. The police gonna be in tune. They already don't like your shade of your skin, so now they got even more of a reason to attack you. I've been attacked by LAPD being in California. I remember we was I mean being in New York. I was in the club and I remember we was leaving. Jumped in our little sprinter, man. They pulled us over. They was about ten cars deep. Talking about somebody told them I had a gun. Mm. I said, man, if you don't get the fuck, out, I was drunk too. I said, man, you don't get the fuck out of my face. You then searched all of us. We ain't got ain't nobody got no gun. But what they did, they were just trying to get up on them. They were just trying to get up on us, see what was going on. Possibly mm-hmm. try to plant some if they could and all that bullshit. But they got nothing. But that's how they do. It's like uh, they be a sign. They it 
okay, the police department and detectives and all them is like the Pope's hitmen. Mm. The mob is the Pope's hitmen. The, the, the police department is the state's hitmen. They do things for the state. You dig what I'm saying? So it's all a structure. If you ever watch Godfather, it, it, it's giving you some real juice. Mm. Powerful, powerful. I wanted to ask you, you know, you're talking about, you know, being on stage in New York. How were you guys perceived when you first came out in New York and the East? I got number love. I got number love oh. from New York. And I'm going to keep it real, bitch. New York always show me love. Always. Every time I go there, man, I just had the Furious Five. I remember doing a show. With the Furious Five and everybody, man, they they when I got on stage, they was like, man, we love how you conduct yourself. We love how you perform. We just love you. You represent. They told me, they said I represent hip hop. And when the OGs tell me that, you can't tell me nothing. I'm I'm. It's part of me, and that's that's because it is. And so, uh, New York has always showed me love. California West Coast has always shown. Me. I've never had problems anywhere. But that's because I'm not one of them individuals who try to go outside of myself to be like somebody and try to be tough and try to act like I'm this and that. I just do what I got to do. It's all love with me. And I stay in my lane. I don't bother nobody. Don't mean I'm a punk or nothing, but I don't bother nobody. And I keep it moving. And people know this. And I, I spread the love. I, I spread the love and share the love and the togetherness, man. And people know this. People know you. People know your soul, man. When you're around them and they see you, they see what you do. They know your soul and they know if you're good people or not. And these people know Chingaling is a is is a hundred percent, a thousand percent out here, man. Powerful. How was life after the the success and the lights of the early two thousands and during your era and your time at the number one spot, and then transitioning into something different in music? Obviously, the the labels and the, the deals and shit like that. How was life for you after that, and then getting right back into the, the flow of things and getting back into music? Um, has like after that, you got to remember something. I've always been in music. I've always right. been doing my thing. I'm just independent. Right. Now, when you don't have the big record deals and the big budgets, no radio play, no big promotions, no getting on Ellen DeGeneres, no getting on a late night show, no get. This is what that do. When you don't got the big budgets and the label, you don't get the big promotion. I've always been independent, always been doing my thing. Now, to some, it may be on a less broader scale because. No big budgets in a play. I, I can't spend a hundred thousand on a record at radio right now. I just can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And um, but I still been out here. But it's a it's 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 ups and it's downs, man. Like I say, when you when you don't hear from rappers, when you when you think a rapper just fell off or because you don't hear them on the radio or see them as much, it's not that they fell off. They may not have that budget and that big record deal no more, and they may just be doing things on their own. Right. So that's when you have to you have to tune into their movement. You dig what I'm saying? You got to support the independent artists and support their movement. And then a lot of people judge the artists based off being with the label. So if you ain't got no big record label deal, you ain't. A lot of people look at you like you ain't shit. And they won't support.